I'm at the Mexican border and as you can tell it's a double steel fence effectively a great barrier erected by Mexico to keep Canadians like me from escaping into their country Hey YouTube and RV fans, welcome to another edition of My Crazy Travels and today I'm coming to you from Tucson, Arizona at Happily Homeless's house, actually Happily Houseless, my bad. Um, it's been a very productive day, I've been putting a new roof coating and sealing my roof and um, Happily Houseless has been such the bastard of kindness, he let me use his really nice pressure washer. He even had roof sealant, a huge, massive, expensive bucket that he let me use, brushes, rollers, and uh, he had a brand new roof vent too that he gave me, and uh, uh, a whole bunch of Christmas lights too. So, um, yeah, it's like my money's no good here. I tried to even buy him lunch, and he actually bought me lunch again today. So, uh, <laughs> uh, super nice guy, very kind, very generous. Um, you know, amazing to uh, to have him as a YouTube friend. And uh, if you guys are ever in the Tucson area, uh, look him up and have a beer with him, even though he probably won't drink a beer. But but nonetheless, try to buy him a beer. I challenge you to spend money on him. And I think he's uh, adjusting his beard right now. I see him through the window. I wonder if he's going to join us. So I was just uh, filming here, just telling how I can't even spend any money. I, yeah, he was busy <laughs> adjusting his beard. Right. Yeah, had he, to, had, had, to he, brush he it had to brush it out. It gets a keep little it so if I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to touch his beard, but he'll break my arm. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just want to touch it. You don't touch a beard like this. <laughs> no. It touches you. Yeah, it actually. touches you. Ah, yeah. oh, it's like Chuck. It's like a Chuck Norris beard. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was uh, telling the viewers about how my money's not good here, and if anybody's in Tucson, I challenge them to spend money on you. As long as it's Canadian. Oh well, yeah, it's like it's like it's like spending uh, eighty-one cents on you right, right. for every dollar. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've been uh, freeloading for a while here, and everything you know. Um, I figure if I stay long enough, everything will be mine. Because yep. the rate you 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 gave me half the stuff from your garage. I think it's a squatter law. If you're here squ long enough, you just end up owning the house. That's right. Yeah. Which I'll be in a van anyway. So. Exactly. So yeah. he he won't need this uh, beautiful property. I didn't realize this place is made for RVs until an RV parked here, and uh, we we mm -hmm. calculated we could probably fit four more of these in my driveway. And so he could make money renting out space. Yeah. This is a possible backup plan if yeah. YouTube doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to cut it uh, short because the sun is going down and I need to put a second application on the roof. So in the meantime, stay safe, keep your wheels in the ground, and less stuff, more freedom. More freedom for me when I get this stuff. <laughs>